hey guys, it's me Noah coming at you with another video. Uh, I know Orion's not behind the camera, so you guys aren't gonna He's watch right this here, video. Though. Nobody cares about you. Yeah, I'll kill myself. Yo, you too. All right, but <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm here filming uh the empowered Pepe Draco pals. Um, I really like the deck. I've been doing a lot of testing with it. Uh, I'm still doing some testing. I really like the way the decks come out so far. I think the deck's super strong. I'm not going to talk about it too much. Uh, I've done a bunch of Pepe stuff um, already. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to go straight into the deck profile. It's not even Pepe anymore. Kind of. Not there's really. No like, there's no... It's just like Performer Pal Pendulums, basically. Pretty much. Just say Pendulums. Like, no one calls it Pepe. People just call it Pendulums now. Rad. Pendulums. Uh, I'm playing two Sork. Uh, I didn't like the way three was feeling. I'm only playing two Pendulum Rising. I couldn't really find a way to optimize it without feeling like I was just drawing it just to draw it or search it. Um, so there's that. Two Sork. Two Gaturtle, obvious. Two Liz draw. Um, two Liz draw is necessary. Uh, some people only play one Gaturtle. I didn't like the way one Gaturtle was feeling, so I played two. Uh, there's this really cool play that you can do where essentially you get to search the turtle is draw and then another sork. And Why only one key. super? I couldn't get a second one. I didn't pull a second one. I got a second. I got a monkey board instead, and you know what happened? A monkey board. Um, silver claw because it's an extra dark target, and the extra three hundred is really sad. good for um, for swinging over um, for swinging over uh weird weird uh weirdly strong monsters. My bad. I'm, I'm we're a little tired. Uh, now for the empowered stuff, uh, we have two Dragodes, we have two Dragonox, and then we have one Aether. Uh, I chose to play I'm this- I'm figure out what face. <laughs> <laughs> Yo guys, like taking, taking attractive Snapchats is really hard when you're ugly. <laughs> oh, dude. You know, we'll talk about this later. later. <laughs> I, I got stuff to tell you, That's boy. Why you Yo, I hate my face so much. <laughs> um, Dragodes is really cool because if you open I this and like Pendulum concerned. Rising, you can normal this. Pendulum Rising, Sork, pop two scales, I and then you get you get three searches. Um, this is really cool because you get to special and additional right. monster. Um, and then this <laughs> just because it's a nice spot removal and I wasn't playing Diamond Direwolf originally. I don't even know if I'm still playing Diamond Direwolf. Uh, but instead I just kind of used this to banish out most of my problems. Um, now the Master stuff or the Draco Slayer stuff. We play three Master obviously. Uh, one Vector. I don't actually like Vector and I've never run into the Mirror Match. So, And then one Luster. Um... Obvious. Uh, I'm not explaining that. Uh, one of. Uh, wait, play. I have a question though. Why don't you play the um the other vector pendulum guy, the effect monster? Lecter, right? Lecter. I actually wasn't liking the way Lecter was testing with the deck, and like normally, like if you're playing this deck correctly, you you're really gonna only go like three turns, because you you either run out of resources and you're like, well, you know, you win, because you outplayed yourself, or you play the deck correctly and you win. Yeah. So it's like. Um, one Skullcrobat Joker, obviously. Uh, one second Donkey because he's a Skullcrobat Joker on steroids. Um, literally. Oh, he's like the fucking Crobat Joker is like the steroids, and this guy's like what he looks like. Like Donkey is what Joker was before steroids. <laughs> yeah. A fucking ugly shit that sucks. Whoa! No, 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 no. <laughs> no second Donkey's so good, especially in this version because because you can send stuff. No, Do you because like stuff or is more searches. No, because more searches. So there's like times where you can op open up like really awkward hands. So like you could open up this, and let's say you open up, and you open up Silver Claw. So like you can't really do anything with this hand. Yeah. But if you open this kind of hand. The simple fact that you drew second donkey means that you can unbrick this hand because what you can do is you can go, is you can go. You can go uh, play these two, normal, normal second donkey second donkey search any of the performer pals in your deck. And sure you have to wait an extra turn, but then you have access to all of your other plays next turn. And like it was just it's a really good like brick on brick factor and. A really cool thing is if you open uh, Pendulum Rising, you can Pendulum Rising this card for for Sork, and then Sork will blow up these two. So you have the card that you already searched, and then you get another two searches off of Sork. 
So you can go for like the, the turnovers draw thing, which yeah. is like where I like to like focus that. Very nosy. Um. Then we have, uh, Kieran. Kieran's kind of just attack. I was liking the way uh Kieran was feeling. Um. And also, I've never actually like specialed Kieran like more than twice. But the simple fact that it is a two scale is helping. And it lets you reuse Joker. Yeah, but no, I'm I don't reuse Joker because I I would rather reuse Second Donkey. There, like I never have a reason to. If anything, I would play it as a scale. If I got like oh, okay, Second Donkey's as normal or special as he gets the search, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see now. Um, Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> Armageddon Knight, uh, the Shadow Dragon, and the uh, Zephros. I've been using Shadow Dragon as of lately just to unbrick hands because you can set this and then either Pendulum Rising or, you know, be really dumb, doesn't matter. Uh, Zephros, Zephros in almost any situation opens three Xyz, two Synchros, three Xyz or two Synchros or OTK. So the deck's super fantastic and is a lot of fun. And we also play three Alerts, so we have so many ways to re uh, reuse that. And then the one Mask Chameleon because it's Mask Chameleon. three Alerts? Yeah. Well, they're mine, technically. <laughs> hey, James. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go through the spells real quick. Spell ground, James. <laughs> yeah, James, is that spell ground yours? No, it's Orion's. <laughs> so I don't want to hear shit. It's a nice spell ground, though. Uh, we play three alert. Three alert just because you want to you wanna see second donkey or pendulum rising or, skull or um, sork as quickly as possible. And this really helps you get to it. And the empowerment stuff's really cool, be but you really only ever need to use it once, so it's not really a problem. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, we play two Pendulum Rising. Pendulum Rising may actually be the best card in this deck. Just because of the versatility it uh, provides uh, with the second donkey, Dragotes, uh, pretty much any card in this deck when you Pendulum Rising, you can plus up to two, which I think is super dumb, especially for the potential this deck already has. Then we play two empowerment. I'm not playing uh, terraforming because I'm not playing the magical abductor engine that I was testing at first. Because if you play this, terraforming, magical abductor, ter magical abductor, terraforming, empowerment, then pendulum rising. That's three. So you get to search. Sork blows it up. So it's like it evolves. So it's like it's two free searches, and then hey, you're gonna. Get, it's three. It's <laughs> three searches plus the second donkey slash skull crowbat search that you're probably gonna get that turn, but it, so it's five. But I just didn't like the way magical abductor felt in the deck, and it wasn't providing anything unless I drew it. Um. One instant fusion. One right geki. One pot of riches. There should probably be another pendulum rising. Uh, there are just point in times where I was like, hey, you know, it'd be really cool if I had another Sork. So, I played this. Or play the third Sork. Uh, <laughs> I like the way three Sorks feels, but it's like, you get, you get a third one from this. So, um, one upstart, 39 cards. MST, because MST is MST. I'm not explaining that. And Rhoda, because you play Warriors now. So, oh, uh, last card of the deck, actually, is Bottomless Trapple. I don't play... Any deck now without bottomless trap hole. Uh, uh, trap cards are really slow, but I really like trap hole, so fuck opinions. Why not play warning instead of bottomless? Did you not just hear what I said? Fuck opinions. Oh, you're right. Okay. Um, on to the extra deck. I'm going to like flash through this. Uh, Noden. It's Noden. Um, Dinoster, uh, you, there's no need to play two. You really... You're really only using this, like, when you're ending your turn to, like, protect yourself so that you don't get fucked. Um, then for the Synchros, we've got Scarlet. And then we've got Omega. Not explaining that. These are good cards. Play them or don't. I don't really care. Um, now for the extra deck, because I'm super bad, we play 2 one one it doesn't matter what you play. There's, like, standard cards that you need to play. You don't have to play one one Let me tell you exactly what you have to play. You have to play one Gaga Ga Samurai. You got to play one Rhapsody and Berserk. You have to play one Nightmare. You have to play one Dweller. You have to play this in case you brick. And then you have to play an Ignister that I don't own. Or you don't have with you. Because I own one, I'll give it to you. See? Legit. <laughs> This is these are legit the only cards that you need to play. I'll tell you other choices that I have. Uh this because this twice is game or this this plus any other monster in the deck is game. 
um, this because special summons are dumb. This because graveyards are dumb. dumb. Uh, this because sometimes you brick and then <laughs> and then you can uh, also extend further because. I think you mean hands are dumb. It doesn't matter. Who, it doesn't matter. Make your hands dumb. Uh, protecting your cards is dumb. <laughs> Bringing back cards is dumb. Making cards miss time. Blowing is dumb. Card, is dumb. <laughs> miss, miss, making cards miss timing is dumb. Hands are dumb. Fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad. Uh, this this card really isn't good. I like to just sit on it sometimes. You don't even have to. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like. I agree with that. Um, this because there are times where your opponent's gonna Attack be like, oh, damage, I have I have a 4K monster, and you're like, oh, that's cool, thanks, fuck yourself. Um, Castell, I don't, I don't know. Oh, and then Carthaginian, because I do like Carthaginian, because some people will try and target my scales, and I'm like, ha, target the other Karen one. Morgan. Does it look like I give a fuck what the name of this card is? <laughs> you know how many times I've played this twice? It was like, oh, I know he's gonna, I know he's gonna attempt to uh, banish one of my scales. So it was like, yo, I got you. Target the other one. I've got game. See you later. Um, <laughs> there's nothing else to really say about the deck. Oh, I one thing I can say. You can replace one of the 101s with a Reflagia, because you got the bottom list. So fuck it, might as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, and you saw that we pulled Reflagia, so maybe I'll do a second version. Uh, this deck's a whole lot of fun, but remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.